Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you episode 4, I believe, of Draft to Glory. Now, uh, the BPL team in season has been out for ages, and I should have done a draft well before this, but uh, I apologise for that. And anyway, let's see what we can do. Obviously, I want to try and get as many of those BPL team in seasons as we can. We get one, we get one that I've used before on a draft that I didn't do for Draft to Glory, and he was fantastic, and that's Harry Kane, so I'm definitely going to pick him. We're going to go BPL as much as we can here. Obviously, if we get any other team of the seasons, I will pick them. Sturridge has a man of the match, but I'm still going to go with him because, you know, it's that English link-up. And the chances of getting Sturridge uh, man of the match are not very high when you've already got the normal. And anyway, we get a Notovich there. And Dembele. Oh, shit. This is looking good. Three Premier League team of the seasons at the minute. Right. You know what? I'm going to break my own rule that I made purely because I want to... Oh, that's not the new money. So we're going to go with William there. I know I said I should be taking every single team the season I get, but, you know, I, I, it's a Premier League team and uh, I'm, I'm just going to pick, you know, the team of seasons that are actually going to help us. Um, so, yeah, I could have got that Bellerin team of the season maybe, but the chances of it are very slim. Uh, we'll go with him. Hopefully we can get someone like Smalling or Aldebael. Um And then... Who do we have on the level? Um, we'll go with Gaia here. Uh, hopefully we don't have to use them. Right, De Gea would be terrific. We get Butland, alright, that's almost as good. We do get Hero Schmeich uh, Schmeichel as well, which I could have picked. You know what, I'll pick him again. Uh, well, we get him again, so we'll pick him this time. And we've got Zuma, and that's a solid looking Premier League team. If that's the team, well, we need a left back. Alright, if we can get a left we get a left back, and you know what? He's not the greatest, but if I had to actually go into the draft with that team, I'd be, you know, very happy. Uh, there's a Mores there, but his 93 is just so much better, so I'm going to take this Ben off as a sub. Midfield looks pretty good. Um, we get Fabregas, but Dembele is a bit better, to be perfectly honest. But I'll still take Fabregas, put him on the bench. He's very high rated and a solid option if we need him. Uh, we'll take Russell, championship. Not that it really matters. Right, come on, another... Another team of the season, alright. Uh, right mid, we got William. don't really need Shakiri, so we'll go Messi there, put him on the bench. Um, yeah, we'll go Benucci here, he's 84. Uh, it doesn't look as though we're going to get anyone to replace anyone. I get David Silva again, high rated, so I'll just put him on the bench there. For Russell, three more left, um, doesn't really matter, so we'll pick Levetti. Two more, come on, one more Premier League team of the season would be terrific. We get Jose Enrique, you know what, he looks a little bit better than Bertrand, so we'll stick him in at left back. And uh, can we get a final team of the season? No, we can't, but we get Ramirez, who's very overpowered, so I'll put him on the bench. And uh, I'm very happy with that team, honestly, delighted with it. It's very solid, or it looks it. Let's see what we can do in the highlights. Oh, shit, we need a manager first. We'll go with Pochettino, Premier League, and uh, it didn't really matter anyway. It gives a bonus to every single player should they need it, which I don't think they do. 186 overall, not too bad. Let's see what we do in the highlights. Heading into game one, as you can see, he's got an alright team, some high rate players. He's got Aguero, obviously, that team of the year, Mares. 95 Ibrahimovic, who doesn't really get Kem, but is still a very strong player. Team of the season, Smalling, and record breaker, Czech, amongst others. So, yeah, a brilliant passing move here, and what a finish from Harry Kane. It was hard to break him down, and it took until the 70th minute to do so. I pass it off to Harry Kane again, and there you go, two goals in the first episode he did actually rage quit as you can see it says 76 50 at the top and we win the first match 2-0 so heading into the second game he had a much stronger team more well built similar to mine apart from Hernandez is off cam but I don't think that matters too much he's got team of season Dembele and Butland like me he's got info Mane on the right instead of William though and yeah he took an early lead 10 minutes in, Balassi with some nice work, and then he takes a corner, and look at that. That's team of the season, Butland in net, and he made some good saves, but that Aguero shot was just too hot to handle. And anyway, a brilliant ball in from Oscar. I think Harry Kane he isn't going to miss that. That's three goals, and all three for Harry Kane so far. And yet again, Harry Kane were 2-1 down at this point, and that's just a stunning finish, just outside the box. So that's four goals scored in this episode, and all four from Harry Kane. And who's bursting through again? Harry Kane. And look at that for a finish. This team in the season card is just, it should be illegal, honestly. He is so good. And moving into the semi-finals, what a team. Four team of the years, Dani Alves, Iniesta, Messi, and Ronaldo, he's got a uh, man of the match, Dromerio up front with uh, Adaris, so a lack of pace in the striker department, but it's an 89 overall squad and a well-built one at that. 
and then my opponent unfortunately passes the ball off to Cristiano Ronaldo in the first five minutes and he's just He's just walking past my defence, but look at that for a block. I thought it was going to go in, but off the line. Shortly after in the 11th minute, off the line again, off the bar header. And uh, from then on in, I thought, you know what? Luck might be on my side a little bit. Some nice work there. Harry Kane passes it off to Sturridge, who gets his first goal. Now, this partnership seems really, really good. Harry Kane there makes it to just outside the box. Sturridge and Kane seems to be fantastic. And then, fair play to my opponent. That is an Stunning goal, that really is to make it 2-1, but Harry Kane, he likes stunners, it hits off the bar, comes out to Sturridge, who's there headed in to make it 3-1 to us, so that's two goals for Sturridge, one for Harry Kane, and then Sturridge bursts through, and that's a Rabona, like, oh, I, I was cocky, I'll admit it, but what a way to get a hat-trick, look at that, the Rabona finish from Sturridge, and to make it 4-1, and send us through to the final, and, uh, Honestly, I was very happy with that. It was a solid game, a very hard game, even as you can see by the stats. But fortunately, we are in the final. And another very solid La Liga team. He's got Muslera in net, who's on seven chem. Apart from that, everyone else is on full chemistry. Man of the match, Griezmann, always causes me problems. He's got a lot of other amazing players. But that man of the match, Griezmann, I was fearing. And look who scores. 40 minutes in, it's Griezmann. And then he extends his lead, a nice passing move. Iniesta passes it off to Griezmann again, who scores. And then I just couldn't handle him. Like I was shocking in defence this game. And Griezmann wraps up his hat-trick to make it 3-0. And it's not over, unfortunately. Godin with a lovely ball in. And how the hell has Gareth Bale got that in? That is absolutely amazing. So we got destroyed in the final. I don't think we deserve to be losing 4-0 if you look at the stats. Fairly even. And Muslera got a 10 rating. But that's FIFA sometimes. You win some, you lose some. And um, because I'm an idiot, I've accidentally skipped over the bit where I review the squad. And I've went and opened the pack straight away. So yeah, we'll get onto the pack, see what we can get. Hopefully we can pull something good. Right, I've accidentally skipped past the bit where um, like I can review the squad and all that. But it was a very solid team as I thought it would be. Uh, in the final, I thought I was a little unlucky, but my opponent did deserve to win, just maybe not by a 4-0 margin, but you know, that's the way it goes on FIFA sometimes, and as you can see, we've got a 15k pack and a 25k pack, I think, so not the best rewards for reaching the final, but we'll see what we can get, obviously, team of the season is a main thing, we've got loads of hero items in packs, though, so you never know, we might have one in this pack, no, we don't, unfortunately, we do get Perlo, doesn't really go for a lot, because MLS isn't out for a while in terms of team of the season and um, nobody wants to build the teams but yeah this final 25k pack let's see if we can end it off with a bang <sighs> that's Barkley there could still be a purple card I doubt it but no unfortunately there's not we get this Brentford player I'm just gonna store him in my club so uh, as far as rewards go that was pretty dreadful and I don't think we've got our coins back what's that oh, 25k packs that's shite but, um, yeah, we reached the final. Unfortunately, we didn't win. We need to win a draft. Like, in episode 5, I hope we can win one. Because uh, we've won four episodes in a row without actually winning one. I think we've been the two finals. But it's just not good enough. So I need to improve. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And, yeah, peace.